uh, ahead of his Mustangs opening round matchup against my Bruins today. SMU head coach Larry Brown spoke to the media and weighed in on the whole how would Kentucky do in the NBA debate. Here's his take. I don't want to put pressure on John. I, I feel real close to him. I'm so proud of what he's done. But I think they'd honestly make the playoffs in the Eastern Conference if they were in the NBA. No pressure. Uh, they would make the NBA Eastern Conference playoffs. Take a look at the largest point spread favorites. This is over uh, men's basketball championships in the last 20 seasons. Kentucky is essentially a 35-point uh, favorite over Hampton. You don't think that it's going to... That's paying some respect to Hampton, it, actually. Really? Well, it's given just, some of those other higher spreads. 60 points. Yeah. Maybe. All right, Stephen A., what do you think about Larry Brown? Is he, is he accurate? Could Kentucky be in the Eastern Conference no. playoffs? No, he is not. He's not accurate at all. And Skip, you know better than most how tight I am with Larry Brown, yeah. how far we go back. Uh, just so you know, Kerry, I covered Larry Brown for all six of his years as head coach of the Philadelphia 76ers, where I coached him, I, I covered him rather every single day uh, from 1997 to 2003. In my estimation, he's one of, if not the greatest coach I've ever seen in my life. He is that phenomenal as a basketball mind. Um, I was also there, obviously, in 1998-1999, Skip Bayless. Uh, that was the same season that John Calipari was the coach of the New Jersey Nets. He went 3-17, and 17, and then he got un unceremoniously dismissed, at which time he ultimately ended up uh, you know, coming uh, joining the Philadelphia 76ers and being on their bench and assisting Larry Brown. And Larry Brown brought him on board for no other reason than John Calipari obviously was down and out to some degree. Um, and, and he's a protege of Larry Brown and Larry Brown does what he always does. And that's take care of his own. And that's exactly who John Calipari is to him. One of his own. He loves this man. Uh, he, he cherishes this man. Um, John Calipari means the world to him. Uh, a few people mean the world to Larry Brown, um, obviously, but John Calipari is one of those people. And so because this was a guy that proved he could coach at UMass, proved that, uh, you know, to some degree that he could coach on the NBA level, but then went back to college at Memphis, and now he's at Kentucky. At one time, uh, there were questions as to whether or not John Calipari would find an ideal landing spot for himself. And Larry Brown basically took care of him to keep him relevant and to keep him in the mind's eye of basketball folks out there. So when it was time to look for a coach, he was somebody that would warrant consideration. And that's what this is about. Uh, not right now, because John Calipari doesn't need it. Uh, but that was it. that is what it was about back then. And this is just an extension of Larry Brown doing what he always does. The, the Kentucky Wildcats, as gifted and as good as they are, let's keep in mind that the seventh and eighth seed in the Eastern Conference right now is Miami and Boston. You're trying to tell me that the Kentucky Wildcats deserve to be on the court with Dwayne Wade? Really? Uh, we're looking at Boston. Marcus Smart is a rookie, but Brandon Bass and, and you know, uh, Avery Bradley and, you know, uh, you know uh, Isaiah, Isaiah Thomas and the list goes on and on. These, these brothers can play. And it's not to dismiss anything from Kentucky and how talented they are and how talented they as individuals, some of them anyway, are going to be on the next level. But to act like a bunch of young boys going up against college athletes can step on the court against NBA teams and make the playoffs. I mean, it's just it's ridiculous on its face. Love Larry Brown agree with him about most things about basketball because he's one of the aficionados who helped elevate my knowledge about the game of basketball because I had the pleasure and the blessing of being schooled by him on a daily basis in terms of watching his level of expertise and excellence. But in this particular instance, I think it's more about him praising uh, the greatness of one of his protégés as opposed to dealing and living in reality. I'm not so sure about that. You I wouldn't have, be. I'm often, I've often said on this show, in fact, I think I said this to Larry's face when we had him on in Dallas before the college championship game. I think he's the best ever combined pro and college coach. So nobody, nobody in the whole world 
has a better perspective on what we're talking about than that man, Larry Brown. So, Stephen A., are we saying that he's just saying that for John's sake? How is that for John Calipari's sake? He, he prefaces his comments, I don't want to put pressure on John. You don't? That, that puts huge pressure. That puts a mountain of pressure, not only on Calipari, but on the Kentucky kids' shoulders as they launch into a six, but they hope it goes six games, to try to get to 40 and 0. So why would you say that if you don't believe that? I believe Larry Brown believes they could make the Eastern Conference playoffs. I believe that Larry believes these kids are so deep and talented. And remember, they're not all freshmen. They got to the championship game last year. The Harrison Twins played in the championship game, and Willie Cauley-Stein was, was a part of that team. And there's, there's, some, there's some experience there, at least in today's college game. And I have never seen a better defensive team than Kentucky. I have never seen a deeper team than this Kentucky. Chad Ford has five out of thir in his top 34 are Kentucky kids going in the draft. Five out of the first 34. And I've never seen a coach be able to utilize his depth better than Calipari can utilize this depth because all 10 kids bite completely into all for one and one for all. That's a potent com com uh, combination. And when I look at this now, he, what he's saying is, that these Kentucky kids would be, or these are all the teams that are not in the playoffs currently in the mm -hmm. East. Charlotte, Brooklyn, Detroit, Orlando, Philly, and the Knicks. So clearly, <laughs> Kentucky would have to be better than all those teams. Then Indiana, I think, is tied with Boston right now for eighth. It's neck and neck. And then you, you went through your, your Celtics. Wow. That, that's, that's saying a lot, but when I heard this, I must admit, because Larry Brown said it, I would usually laugh at a statement like that when, we, when it's come up before. Stephen A., I must admit, I paused for a second. I thought, is that possible? And now, the more I think about it, I think Larry believes it is possible. So what, what would be the method to the madness here? Why, why would he say it? Well, how does it help John Calipari to say that? I, I see no value as he's not, whatsoever. He's not, he's not trying to help John Calipari for the NCAA tournament. He's trying to bring attention to the great job that John Calipari has done as a coach, as a recruiter, and as a builder of the Kentucky program. He's trying to bring attention to the fact that one of his protégés, somebody he loves dearly and believes in and considers a protégé uh, and a mentee, so to speak, that this guy is doing it and doing it and doing it well. That's what he's trying to say. Yeah. That's what Larry Brown is doing. If this were another team from a coach that he didn't know, he would just say they were a phenomenal basketball team. Oh, they're great, Steven. They're phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just watch them. They're so deep, and they play the right way. They play unselfishly. You know I know Larry Brown. This is what he does. But when it comes to his guys, when, he, when they make him proud, he's going to make a point to highlight that they're making him proud. And that's what he is doing here with John Calipari. Because as individuals, Skip, you've seen their talent and you've raved about it. But what you've raved about even more is their unselfishness, yep. their selflessness, how yep. they play for the, jer the name on the front of the jersey instead of the back, how they're willing to make sacrifices, how they don't care about who does what. It's all about winning and being together as a family. These are the kind of things that whether it's J the late John McClendon, Dean Smith, yeah. Frank McGuire, to Larry Brown, to Greg Popovich, to John Calipari, the list goes on and on. They come from this tree. And when you have somebody that's doing it the way that he's doing it, you want to take a, a moment to give praise on such an elevated level that it brings attention to what they're doing because everyone doesn't do it this way. That is what Larry Brown was doing. He wasn't, and that's all. I'm not saying he didn't believe it to some degree, but he believes in it primarily because of what Calipari is doing. Okay, but not basically, just because of the you're, talent. You're saying and Calipari is his guy. I know, but basically, your conclusion is he's blowing some smoke here, right? Well, well, I think that I think that he means it from the perspective that 
he wants to praise John Calipari and he believes in this team because he believes in Calipari that much, not just the talent. I've seen Larry Brown talk about talent before, but when there was questionable leadership, whether it be from sure. coaching or beyond, he wouldn't, he wouldn't spew these superlatives, but he's doing so now because he believes in the vision and the program as much as the players. Okay. Last quick point. We talked about this earlier. Stephen A., I think Larry Brown's team is going down. Today? Yep, today. You I think are they're kidding going down. me. I, I know you know Kevon Looney. Kevon Looney it. can play. Yeah, I think he might be a lottery pick. I love it. Freshman. But the, all five UCLA starters, and I know they, they were a controversial pick to even be in the tournament, but all there. five are in double figures. Steve Offord's kid, Bryce, is pretty good, 15 a game. I, I just think they're better than people think. They, they won four of their last five, and the last two times they played Arizona late twice, and they played the heck out of them both times, and I really respect Arizona. So I'm going with the Look Bruins. You. I'm going with the Bruins. I, do you have I to pay you now? I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't watched UCLA since they looked like a, like, like a high since school team lost, against yeah, Kentucky <laughs> early in the bad. season. But, 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 I will say this, but I will say this to you. I believe in Larry Brown. Okay. One game for your life. Yep. You know, with, uh, against UC times. UCLA yeah. has to UCLA has to be better for me for me to vote against SMU. I'm rolling with Larry Brown and SMU. SMU is a four and a half point favorite okay. game.